A Little Red Riding Hood. Once upon a time, there was a little girl who wore a red riding cloak with a hood. One day, her mother called to her, "Come, little red riding hood. Here is some cake and a bottle of wine. Take them to your grandmother. She is sick and weak. Remember." Don't talk to strangers along the way. Don't worry, mommy. I'll be careful," she said. Her grandmother lived in the wood, and as Little Red Riding Hood was walking along, la 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 la, la 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 la, a wolf met her. Good day, Little Red Riding Hood. Where are you going today? The wolf asked in a friendly voice, "I am going to my grandmother's house. She is sick and weak, and I have some cakes and wine for her." She answered, "How nice! Where does your grandmother live, my dear?" asked the wolf. "Her house is in the wood under the three large oak trees. You can see the trees from here." Little Red Riding Hood said. The wolf thought, "What a tender young creature! What a nice plump bite for me! I must be careful so as to catch her." He said, "Look at the pretty flowers all about. Why don't you pick some for your grandmother and enjoy the sweetly singing birds as you walk along?" Little Red Riding Hood looked around and thought, "It is early in the day. I still have lots of time." <laughs> so she ran off the path into the wood to look for flowers. The wolf ran straight to the grandmother's house and knocked at the door. "Who's there?" asked the grandmother. Little Red Riding Hood," replied the wolf. "I am bringing a cake for you. Open the door." "Open the door yourself," called out the grandmother. "I am too weak to get up." <laughs> the wolf came in, tied up the grandmother with a rope. And put her in the cupboard. Then he put on her night clothes and her cap on his head. He got into the bed and pulled up the covers. Little Red Riding Hood had picked a large bunch of flowers for her grandmother, and finally arrived at the house. She called out, "Good morning!" But no one answered. So she opened the door and went to the bed. Her grandmother was lying there with her cap on and looking very strange. Why, grandmother, what big ears you have! She exclaimed. The better to hear you with, my dear. The wolf replied. But grandmother, what big! Eyes you have," she said. "The better to see you with, my dear," the wolf replied. "But grandmother, what big teeth you have!" she said. "The better to eat you with," said the wolf. <laughs> the wolf bounded out of the bed to catch Little Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood ran across the room and cried out loudly, "Help, wolf!" <laughs> A huntsman who was chopping logs nearby heard her cry out and ran to the house as fast as he could. He chased the wolf out of the house and to the wood. Then he helped grandmother out of the cupboard. The grandmother ate the cake 
and drank the wine that Little Red Riding Hood had brought, and she became strong and well once more. Little Red Riding Hood learned her lesson and promised never to speak to a stranger ever again.